What do you think about abortion? I think that people should have the, women should have like the right to make such a choice. Yeah, that's it. And would you support any restrictions on abortion? I feel like anything after the second trimester, the second, the first trimester is fine. I feel like you can totally do whatever you want, but like after the second trimester, I think that there should be some type of limitations. Um, I kind of feel the same, like the first trimester is okay to get an abortion, but after that, third trimester, definitely not. But after that, like maybe there's going to be restrictions. I have a kid and I like, I watched the whole entire, um, like, uh, pregnancy, you know, so I like watch her belly grow and like throughout the months, you know, and like, I, I know from three to six months, like there's a belly, you know, and I like watch videos, like to see how long it takes for a baby to develop and stuff like that. And like after like three months, a lot of like the major uh, bodily functions of a human being are like developed at that stage, you know? So anything past three months, like I feel like you're like totally killing somebody. Oh my God, it's like that. One word, your thoughts on what you saw? Uh, that was really scary. I didn't realize that there was like possibly parts left behind. Like I didn't like, I didn't get that they used just like a suction tube just to that thing out of there. That's. Oh, uh, made my uterus hurt. Like I said, the three months, the baby has hands, eyes, feet, and that's intestines. A that's, that's a whole, a whole baby. baby. Yeah. Does it change your mind at all about when you would support restricting abortion? Yeah, f yeah, f yeah. Like the, seeing how big that baby was, it was just like another like reality check, you know? Like that's a that's a human being. This girl, this woman who the baby daddy walks out on. There's women who has family members who don't like the boyfriend. There's women who. Uh, who are in abusive relationships and now they got to worry about having a kid with an abusive guy, you know, and that's, this might be their out, you know what I mean? But like you said, um, that's not that's not a way out, you know? If you know you cannot take care of a child, there's many of options and things that you can do to give that child up, to, right, uh, to make the child's say. life better. That's you know? what I was going to say yeah. is that, like, you're saying, like, oh, I get why women get an abortion because of that, but at the same time, you, there are options. It does not have to be put into foster care. You can have you can carry the child and give it to a loving family that's somebody that wants to adopt you know what i mean so you can definitely do that if you are some like you're saying some crazy cracked out lady who's got like this baby now there's some beautiful nice family who's like i want to save a crack baby and you can just go ahead and give it to them they're probably going to pay for your expenses and everything you pass it on out and that's why and that's a i don't know that's why you shouldn't get an abortion you know what i mean like someone is going to want this kid but there's too, many options. there's too many options for you, you to, know what I mean? To, to, to make a child suffer. Right, exactly. Yeah. You don't have to put a child to that lifestyle. But also, it doesn't always mean that a child's going to come out that bad either. Exactly, because I was just about to say that. But because then there's women that don't need children. Maybe. Sorry, we are the, going You got to, because then there's another thing you got to think about, you know, because I, I'm sure at least more than 50% of the freaking population of this world was a mistake. All right, I'm positive. I mean, I, I know. Almost, no. I know. Uh, well, I for know. me personally, mistaken. for me personally, my mom is 40 years old. So there was obviously going to be complications with her having me at such an old age. And they, sorry, mom, that I said old age. Oh. But um, the doctors asked my mother, like, do you want to, they were like, hey, your child could possibly have Down syndrome. Let's get this thing out of you. And she was just like, no, I'm in my second trimester. Like, I don't, and they try to, and she's already in her second trimester. And they're like, hey, let's get rid of it. We'll save you the trouble. And she was like, no, I don't want to have an abortion. Like, I want to have my kid regardless. So even a doctor being, like, uh, saying that is, no, like, you know, ridiculous. That's, that's, that's a valid point. And now, you see, now my mother had me at, uh, she had my brother at 15, 20, 16, my sister at 16, 20, 17, and me 17, 20, 18. And now she already has two kids. She's a freaking kid herself, you know what I mean? And then she decides to have another kid, you know? And now I watched my mother like raise us and stuff like that off of like nickels and dimes, you know? We made it, you know? It wasn't the best lifestyle, but it makes me who I am today now. And I'm not that bad of a person, you know? I think I'm cool. I think I'm like have morals and shit like that. You know, so not everybody turns out bad, like you right. said, you know? But still in general, just that situation alone, I would never want to do that. I fucking, just alone, like I was scared to have my first kid because I had nothing. You know, but I went up on a limb and I was just like, look, we're going to make this f***ing work. Um, so would you say that this uh, video should be shown to people and who would you show them to? Like abortion clinics or even OBGYNs, like a gynecologist. Show it before they have it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think oh it should. God. Oh my God, calm Sorry, down. They did it. I think. Okay, they, oh, wow, baby, we'll you, No, 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 okay, no. Yeah. I think it should be shown like as just like, you know, a preliminary thing. It's just like, okay, well, this is what you say. This is, this is what you say you want. 
then we'll show you. Also, I think it should be shown during sex ed education, like in school, because there's lots of kids that are having sex at like 15, 14 years old, and they don't know what the hell they're doing. So they get pregnant and they don't know what's going on. So I, I think that it, it should be something that's shown, like this is what can happen, you know? But that's what I'm saying though, they should make it so like you see this shit before you go through what you're, what you're gonna do. Because once you see it, you're like, oh my God. Like, like you saw your reaction, right? Yeah. Like that was priceless, you know? Like you didn't know that's what happened. And now I might like, change your whole perspective on like what your next move is, right. you know? So that should be a mandatory thing. Like that's done. If you're gonna get an abortion, you gotta watch this 10 minute video of how this goes down, you know? Oh, uh, well, I'm just saying this should be a 10 minute, like this is what's gonna happen. This is what could happen. This is what happened to this couple in, in, in New York. And it might happen to you, so. There you go. Now you can now you, now we can start the process. She's like, "Hold on. Let me think about this for a second." <laughs>